Hey, it's Ben from Cores of Change. This is also Ben from Cores of Change, and we're hanging out with Rob from Front Row Live. What's up, guys? It's uh, really cool to get to meet you guys. I have become a fan quickly of the band, and um, I'm super excited for this upcoming debut that's about to drop. But I want to dive in and talk about um, the single that's out currently, uh, which is Dead, and um, just that creative process. What's it like when you guys come together and start writing new material for the band? In the scenario of Dead, it was kind of a... um... It was kind of a spur of the moment idea. Um, Ben came in with like an idea of what he wanted, like a guitar line to sound like for dead. Um, And it starts with like, there's no bass in the beginning of that song. It's just like the dun, 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 dun kind of guitar. Um, And just kind of went from there to, Usually a guitar starts and Attila starts grooving underneath it. Um, the second guitar fills in the space and, and Ben starts ripping. There's no, there's no formula, but there's definitely a, it's one pattern. Yeah, it was, a. I think we started writing that. We had a couple writing sessions after we got signed um and that was one of the first songs that we had written in specific for like an upcoming album so as far as um kind of releasing material right now especially when you guys know there's an there's a debut about to drop so what is that process like kind of figuring out which songs to be able to kind of showcase to kind of introduce the band to to you know these music fans um well, we this this has been so far for this debut has been like a two year long project getting everything ready and it it really started when we during like that first summer when we just like shacked up together basically and did nothing else but like go to the studio and write and we ended up having like uh, we ended up having like fifteen songs from that. We ended up cutting five. We ended up releasing four others as the new hour EP. And then we saved three of those songs for this album. And then the rest was kind of like, okay, we need to, we need to write like seven more songs, but they need to be like the best songs that we could possibly be writing for this. Um, And we probably did, I don't know, we had, we had practice every single week, you know, multiple times when we would go in and write. And it just ended up being like, I think collectively, these were the songs that we thought were the strongest, the songs that we thought showed off um, like our pure, purest, like artistic um, vision for what we wanted Quarters of Change to really be. Um, and we ended up having 10 songs ready to go. We went into uh, Shifted Recording Studio, which is in uh, Greenpoint. And just, we had three days and just banged out 10 songs. Um, and then, so we had the album like really ready to go. I mean, that was last summer. So like, we had it like ready to go basically a year ago. And then everything since then has just been about production. Cause we, you know, we, we love doing both sides of it. We love writing and we also love producing. So um, we really spent a lot of time meticulously going over and making sure that we had all of like everything that we really wanted in it. Uh, And then I think we added, we added the, the lead single, Miss Dramatic, which was kind of just like after a tour, um, uh, Jasper had this riff that we really with, uh, or or, sorry, we really liked. Um, (laughs) And uh, the label, the label thought that, that was the like single single. So um, we ended up like speed rushing and recording that one real quick with um, that was the first time we got a chance to work with like uh, a producer we worked with Mikey Freedom Heart, who just won. Um, I think he just won the 
Grammy for Album of the Year with John Baptiste. Um, so that was really awesome to get to to work with him. We showed him like the song and he helped us like sort of with the arrangement. Um, yeah, and that, that was the 11th track. But everything else was sort of like put together like a year ago. What was that experience like uh, going into the studio with the producer for the very first time, um, you know, after having released uh, material before on your we own? We had hung out with him a bunch prior um, and he's just such a fun guy. Um, like we just, <laughs> we just, we just vibed like immediately the first time we met him, which is like, we we're all like goofing off just kind of like the most important thing. I think when you are going to be in the studio with someone is that there is that lightheartedness. There is that sort of trust that this is fun and no one's sort of like bringing a, a unfamiliar sense of pressure or anything like that um because it makes you trust a person and when they actually do get serious and give you feedback you don't feel attacked you don't feel like it's out of left field um so it was seamless you know i mean we we gave the song a couple couple runs but in the end it was it was great and yeah would, i'd add that it'd be working with him again yeah i would add that it, it, it would it didn't we've been producing each other for like our entire, you know, like since we've been a band. So just sort of adding one more person to the equation to, to help with that. Um, it didn't feel like out of place or weird. It was just sort of like, uh, you know, building the trust with somebody to really be like, yeah, I, I, I see where you're coming from and I'm going to try that. That was sort of like the hard part. Do you guys feel like that experience and also the fact that you had so much time before the release of this record like do you feel like it allowed you guys to say like okay hey the record's done and then come back to it and kind of refine it once again like did, oh yeah did you find yourselves doing that constantly oh totally yeah but we didn't get to do that with that one song Miss dramatic yeah that one yeah. that one we cut and then we weren't really able to touch it if it had been up to us we would have kept that song for months before we dropped it just because you know we we find ourselves going back and back finding new things to add new things to change um which is why we're so proud of our songs you know um but i think it's it's a great song regardless it's gonna it's still gonna do the job so with this album uh this debut record what made what was like the reasoning behind the album like do you feel like you came into it like having an idea or like a a storyline for this album or is this something that you guys felt just kind of created itself as you guys were just writing music just to write music um i think you know one of the hardest things for probably every band is is getting that idea or like that concept for like the piece of work um and that, that was something that I think in the past we had like sort of struggled with in terms of like things seem more like a hodgepodge of like songs thrown together um, rather than a cohesive piece of work. Um, so I, while we were writing this album in particular, we had gotten the name, we had the concept, like we had figured all that stuff out even before we had cut some of the tracks. You know, um, which I think really it really helped in terms of like creating um, creating in my mind what an album was like really supposed to be uh, of songs that just kind of like flow into each other and have a general connectivity. Also, just like I think over the course of writing it, the meaning kind of expanded you know like um into the rift came from from the song rift which is the second song on the album um and you know lyrically ben is basically telling a story of of his experiences in in love but as the year went oh like on and we were producing these songs and sort of really diving into the release into the Rift also kind of is about 
us like fully diving into this journey as a band, like fully doing this and nothing else. These last couple songs have been my first introduction of the band. You guys have obviously been a band for some time now. Um, do you feel like this album, when you listen to it and you listen to your other material, do you feel like it's a natural evolution of, of the way that you guys create music now? Or do you feel like it's a drastic evolution? of the way It feels like now? it feels like we've been training to write this album like our entire careers, you know, like it, I can totally see um, just sort of like even like earlier, earlier songs that like we had to write to be able to write these, you know. Um, so I totally, I view it as, I view it as an evolution, but I also, since it's like, it's the debut album, I sort of view it as like, all right, this is, this is where we're starting now. So like, we have to evolve from here. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I would say. So this album drops, uh, July 29th. Um, you guys just did the small run of shows, uh, here in the States. Any plans for like a proper North American tour for this album? Um, and if so, like when can fans look forward to that? August 1st, I'm pretty sure we're dropping a full national tour. Um, and we're going to be going August on first. Road. Yeah, we're going to be going on the road with uh, Bad Sons. Nice. Um, October. October. Yeah, no, but we're dropping the dates. Oh. <laughs> um. And then after that, we have a we have a planned headline tour for us. That will be pretty sick. There's there's such a um, I'm super excited for this Bad Sons tour. One because I just love Bad Sons, so just to be able to get to see them so much will be super awesome. But um, there really is something beautiful, and we've sort of been experiencing it more and more over the last couple months of you know playing a quarters of change show. Um, everyone kind of like they come there and it's like a real like it's a real community of people that are just you know they're just they're it, it feels very like we're all together and that's like a really beautiful thing um especially because I think like it's a new thing for the band really to have like fans be popping out like that um and it, it, it feels really good yeah, well, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to the tour as well. Uh, record is amazing, and uh, definitely excited to catch you guys live. Like I said, I'm bummed I wasn't able to for this for this last run, but I will be there for this upcoming tour. So, guys, thank you for hanging out with me. Congratulations with the releases so far, and uh, super excited for Into the Rift to drop July 29th. Thank you so much for having. Thank me. you, Rob.